Hey guys, I'm Violin, and today's video I will show a little bit more about my journal. I showed this a little bit in the previous video, but I got a comment to show more in detail. So I was like, okay, instead of just sharing pictures, let's go over it in the video so I can explain more what each part is, why I made it the way it is, and why it's actually only two pages. So we have the front, and we have this one. So yeah, let's go to the desk, and yeah. Take a look. So before I start showing this journal, let's first go over the tools that I use to actually maintain this journal. A ruler, very simple, um, not very really special. It has a nice amount of information on the back, um, if it wants to focus, of like what a kilogram is in pounds and such. I have this uh, pen, which you can actually erase with. This is kind of a eraser, so if I make a mistake, which I often do because I have, yeah, I, I cannot write properly, I have kind of like dyslexia or however you want to call it. We have the same type of pen, also the erasable pen in red, a yellow marker, an eraser, and then we have this thing which is a mechanical pencil, which actually rotates if you are writing, if you look at the white, you can see it rotates so you always have a sharp point to write with. These are basically all the tools and I could go for something more like, oh, if it wants to come loose, for something like this, just a normal notebook. Um, I use these for studying Japanese but to maintain a journal because of my kind of bad handwriting, I prefer to use something like this in which I can easily take out all the pages and that's also what I will do for the pages that I will need. There is some more into this book, so I'll quickly take it away, because I have also a financial planner inside of here, which I prefer not to show on camera. But these are basically the main pages. I say two pages, but um, as you will see later on in this video, this page is something that actually gets replaced every week. But okay, what are we looking at when we take this paper? Um, let's quickly zoom in a little. So, 2020, uh, 2024, we have a session counter, weekly planner and a weekly checklist together with 2024 goals. I have this little tiny area because I still had some amount of space left over. But let's first go over to the weekly checklists because that's where it all started for me. So this weekly checklist basically, oh, also, I forgot that I should check this one. So what this checklist actually is, is every time when I upload a video, so we have Voidance Live, Voidance Game Dev Journey, Voidance Sensei. If I upload a video during that week, so these are week numbers, I will color the area. I have some amount of areas that I colored, so in this area, by example, I broke my hand, so that's why there's a lack of videos in this area. I was still uploading all the shorts for the Japanese grammar, so that's why these were colored and these aren't. Then I, uh, yeah, my, my wife got uh, yeah, basically a very heavy case of morning sickness, so I had to take care of her and of the housekeeping as I so the amount of fetus in this air, like in this spirit, were also low. And then I got sick <laughs> for some time. But as you can see, the last couple of weeks, I've been able to go at it again. I missed one upload here. These are just for when I upload a video because I try to keep a weekly upload schedule. And then we have RE and BS. BS doesn't stand for um, what you may think it is. So first of all, reflection. I do this every Saturday. It's basically I take some time to actually like think about what I did correct in the week, what I did not correct. Um, did I gain more money compared to usual because I'm still trying to earn an income whilst being a stay-at-home dad and this planning is kind of helping for that to stay on track. Yeah, reflection is kind of important if I do things too wrong or if I did something very correctly and I don't really understand how during that day I will basically check it. The reason why it is missing all of these is basically because I remade this entire schedule because starting from when I broke my hand, I've actually not been able to use this schedule. Um, yeah, it was kind of incomplete at the time. So I did not really use it, so I've only been using it for the past four, um, well, actually since the beginning of this month again. But this is what I used in January and it always kept me on track, so I really wanted to make this again. I'm glad that I was able to make this at the beginning of this month, because my life had gone, has gone busy again. Then we have BS, and that's basically brainstorming. For me, my weeks end, uh, like start on a Sunday, 
I start on Sunday. The, this is the yeah. <laughs> I I use kind of Japanese and yeah. I start uh, my week on a Sunday and then I have a brainstorm session in which I think about what videos do I work on, what do I plan. It's kind of like a rough planning of the week and that's also the time that I make this sheet. So let's first take a look at this before we continue. This is a very simple paper. There are no colors, I only use threads and basically my mechanical pencil for the entire thing. So I have my planning. So week 27, I have the days of the week. I have a five task thing that I want to do and I actually need to cross these ones out. I finished these a couple days ago. And then I have my reflection. So remember when I said that I do a reflection rounds here? Oh, whoops, um, over here. I basically write this in this. So I at the end of a month, I will have a couple of these papers and it's kind of helpful to easily be able to look back and reflect on what you did the past weeks with kind of like habits of these should you do every single week to get better results. Uh, I use kind of like a common thing for um, tasks. First of all, every day I only plan three tasks, three main tasks, things that really need to be finished that day. So by example, at the beginning of this week, it was oh, um, the end of uh, the last months. So I had to write a report because then as a video editor that I'm making and a lot of people are interested in it. So I write monthly reports so people can stay up to date. Then I have edit VG and G. which basically stands for Voidance Game Dev Journey, edit Voidance Life. So videos that I had to edit for that day as well. On Monday, I usually write my coffee articles. By the way, if you want to support me financially, go to my coffee page, please. And uh, well, link in the description. All help is appreciated. Thank you for all the support that I've been having so far. Thank you very much. And I had to add subtitles for a lot of videos because recently I started adding all subtitles to my videos again. This took a long time. So yeah, you can basically go over this entire planning, but when you see an X like this, the task is finished. If you see a arrow, it's because I had to move the task because I was not able to finish. But yeah, if I wasn't able to do something, I will move it to the next day. Or if I really cannot do it because something is completely blocking it, I just cross it out completely. So this is basically how I make my schedule. Every morning I sit down or in the evening and I start writing like, what tasks do I really need to do tomorrow? And then I have my weekly tasks for, um, yeah, I give my, myself maximum five, so every day maximum three, and for the entire week, um, I give myself five tasks, which can take a little bit longer. By example, finishing my website, uh, monetizing the site with AdSense, and uh, monetizing this uh, Void and Sense YouTube channel, which recently got monetized. Yay! I'm earning about 50 yen a day. <laughs> and then my reflection part. So let's go over to the main schedule again. So here we have a session count and the session count is mainly because I don't always because I don't always study every single day um, and also a day count will take way too much space on a piece of paper. So I just count the amount of times that I actually studied or did exercising. So I did exercising yesterday, I still had to put my line there and I basically count it. But this is also just from the beginning of um, last month, if it wants to focus. Uh, beginning of uh, last month because again I did not really use the schedule I had to, uh, I remade this a couple of days ago but it's basically the exact same thing that I was using at the end of last year and beginning of January where I was reasonably productive <laughs> but yeah then we go over to a guideline I really specify that this is a guideline because it, I don't really follow it that closely on Sundays, I study Japanese, I do my brainstorming and planning and scripting of videos. This is something I still do. Then we have Mondays, I do programming, like I try to focus some time on programming, for instance, filming and editing, writing coffee articles. So writing coffee articles, I still do. Programming, I mainly try to do. And filming for for instance, I mainly do it whenever I feel like it nowadays. I, I'm not that strict with the whole schedule anymore. And then again, study Japanese, um, film edit for Voice Gender Journey, programming, VS Upload, um, study Japanese again for an hour, uh, film and edit, programming, Voice Game Dev Journey upload. So the upload days I try to maintain. The only problem is I'm trying to edit more videos and get more than one video out a week to speed things up a little bit. So yeah, 
this is not 100% correct, especially like the filming and editing. I basically don't do them on those specific days anymore. But it's still nice to have a guideline if I really feel like, oh, what do I do today? I can look at the schedule. So making this planning goes a little bit easier. But yeah, study Japanese, phones, live upload, and then again, reflection time on Saturday. And then I just have a small part of my goals. So my goals for this uh, for this year is basically earn GMI yen a month, which is basically half the amount of a full-time salary. So kind of like a part-time salary. GLPT and two practice tests. I really want to pass GLPT and two practice tests because I'm not going to pay for the test anymore. They, they won't see my money anymore. Go then basically finish my video editor that I'm making. And I would like to have all my YouTube channels reach 5,000 subscribers and possibly buy a house. Um, this is a difficult, difficult one. We have been looking, but houses in this area in Osaka are a little bit too expensive and moving to another place when there's a baby coming. Not really an option, especially because of my wife's work. It will be too difficult to go there, so yeah. <laughs> now, if you took a good close look at my schedule, you would have seen that filming this video was not a plan of my, of my schedule today. And that's basically, my kid is sleeping right now, so I have extra time. I have three tasks in my book, but if I really feel like doing something else extra, I will do it. I don't follow this planning that seriously. I just try to finish my three tasks that I set out for myself every single day, and that's it. Um, one of the tasks for today was still editing videos. That's something I will do now. I still have enough energy, it's only one o'clock, and my kid normally should wake up in a little bit, but that's not too big of a problem because we already had lines and such, so... Basically, what I'm trying to say with this video, like the, the main goal of this video is also just if you want to have some kind of a planning, don't use software like Notion or something. Use paper. You will always see this. It's easy to adjust things. You don't need to start up your PC or go on your phone where you have the chance of being distracted by videos or uh, messages or anything else. Oh, I have a new message. No. <laughs> so yeah, basically. Having things on paper, it's saving me a lot of time. It's making me actually finish my tasks without getting distracted whilst trying to use the tool that I use to stay more productive. But yeah, this is my schedule. This is how I do everything. Mainly my mornings are taking care of my kids and doing grocery shopping and such and preparing meals. And oftentimes I will also kind of prepare the meal for, the, well, the din for dinner. So I have less time during dinner so I, my afternoon can be fully dedicated to finishing my tasks. I cannot say enough how much this kind of a schedule has helped me in the beginning when I tried to do YouTube more seriously and how much it has been helping me again in the last month. I hope I don't get sick again or that my wife gets sick again and when my uh, next kit arrives in a couple of months, I don't know if I'll be able to stay, like, stick that closely to the schedule. But again, this is mainly a guideline. But you never know what life will bring. And this works for me now. Maybe when there's another kid and I need to take one of my, like the oldest kids to school, maybe this schedule will start changing. And just a small extra, on my phone I actually have um, timers. So I have a timer at like 10.40 in the morning to notify me that like, you should really start preparing lunch now because we eat at like 11, 11.30. Then I have another timer at 2.30 to say, it's snack time, take a little break. <laughs> and then I have another alarm at 4.30, which basically notifies me like, oh, it's time for dinner. Because otherwise I would or keep working or keep spending time with my kids without realizing how late it is. So that has also helped me a lot. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and that it kind of sparked motivation to also create something like this and test it out. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. For me it works and it, basically I don't get distracted anymore like I did when using Notion and such. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, that you learned something. And if you have any advice on how you schedule your days or weeks, leave them in the comments below. Maybe other people will find it helpful. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Like the video if you liked it and if you want to see more, subscribe. Bye-bye.